is part 4 of Visual Studio Tips tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss command window in Visual Studio. To get to command window, there are two ways. Click on View menu, Other windows, and then Command window, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut is Control W A, as you can see here. So what is this command window for? Command window is used to execute commands or aliases in the Visual Studio IDE. For example, to get to open file dialog box within the command window type file.openfile or OF. Here OF is the alias for file.openfile. Let's actually look at that in action. So look at that when I say file, look at that the IntelliSense shows all the options that are available so file dot open file once we have that command there you know once I press enter look at that here we have the open file dialog box and then you can open any file that you want using Visual Studio or instead of typing the full command here you can even use the alias look at this when I type OF so OF is the alias for file dot open file when I press enter we get the open file dialog again so this is one way to get the open file dialog box within Visual Studio to use the commands within the command window the other way is to use the menu items so file open file okay so you can either use your mouse and navigate to that item or there is a keyboard shortcut control O so if I type control O it opens the open file dialog so behind the scenes what's happening it's executing the corresponding command that is file dot open file now the command window offers a command prompt style interaction with the Visual Studio IDE but many developers prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts over typing commands in the command window as all of these commands can also be executed indirectly using the keyboard shortcut keys and using sh keyboard shortcut keys is much faster than opening the command window and then typing the commands in there that's why a lot of developers prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts over using command window uh, but keep in mind some commands also expects parameters to be passed for example if you want to open a specific file then pass the name of the file as a parameter to the command for example to open the program.cs file you know you type the command like so file.open file and then specify the path of the file that you want to open let's actually look at that in action so let's say I want to open this program.cs file. The program.cs file is present within the host project. So file.open file, um, you know, press space bar, and then it's present in C colon backslash. Uh, this is simple service solution. Within that, we have the host project, and within that, we have program.cs file. And look at this when we press enter, program.cs file is automatically opened okay or you can also type OF and then the path of the file and it's going to open the file for you similarly to get to open project dialog box you know there's a corresponding command for that file dot open project or you can simply use this alias OP or you can use the keyboard shortcut control shift O so if you go to file open project so that's the keyboard shortcut control shift O when we select this menu item what's happening behind the scenes it's executing the corresponding command file dot open project and if you want to clear all these items within the command window use CLS that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day